Hello guys, uh, today I thought I should do a review that's a bit different than usually so uh, therefore I decided to go ahead with a combiner team from the Generation 1 line and uh, here you have it, I just tilt the camera a bit yep, as you can see there well, I don't have a tripod for the camera so please excuse me for if you can't see the whole thing yet, but I'll show you Well. First of the figures is this one. This is the Terracon uh, Cutthroat, I think his name is. And uh, as I mentioned, he's a Terracon and uh, he's a Decepticon. And he combines with his fellow uh, Terracon members into the highly um, violent, I would say, uh, Gestalt, or what do you call it, figure, well, his name is Abominus. Well, here you have Cutthroat. He's a kind of bird-like creature, uh, eagle, not quite sure. Something that should uh, bring terror into the hearts of people that see him. And uh, his main color is green with some uh, yellowish kind of beige and uh, these purple wings. And the next one is Sinner Twin. Quite a beast. Um, he looks a bit like a rhino but with two heads and uh, yeah, you can see them there. And uh, twin tail. And uh, as you can see, his primary color scheme is also yellow and uh, some green legs and a uh, purple tail. Um, and he also combines with the other figures into a bonus. Please excuse me if I just going over the figures briefly, but I won't go out. I won't get that much into detail about the individual because uh, I. Frankly, I can't remember what they do or what their abilities are and stuff like that. However, I do remember this guy uh, from the textbooks and his bio that he's one of the smelliest of the Decepticons because he simply doesn't shower <laughs> or mean, do any kind of maintenance. It's blood and he's a uh, bluish purple, some kind of beast. Quite nice. Uh, mine's a bit loose. Uh, actually, quite loose on the arm, as you can see. If I press it inward a bit, it'll stay in place, but it's an old toy. Um, and on to the next one. Actually, the favorite of, of the figures from the group, my favorite, that is Ripper Snapper. I think he's quite cool. You can see the shark head. So he's a shark-like creature going on land and his main color is this gray kind of white with blue limbs and uh, he's very cool. I really like this figure. One of, the f uh, one of my favorite um, combiner figures. And last but not least we have Hunger. The twin headed dragon. Very nice figure indeed. Uh, it's quite a shame his mouth doesn't open. Uh, it could be called like um, the Autobot counterpart. What is it? Double header? Uh, no, not double header. Double cross. Um, he can have, uh, or he has opening mouth, and so it would be a nice if this guy could could do that too but um, I like him he's a good he's a good leader um, leader figure or main body for the combining group and as you can see his main color is this grayish white and some dark gray or actually pale gray I think and some purple well um, I do have all the weapons for the individual figures, but I don't have them right here at the moment. 
Uh, but uh, I can tell you that hunger comes with this gun, which is also the one he utilizes in guest of mode, I think you call it, or combined mode. Um, on to transformation for the individual robots. We start with cutthroat. It's quite simple. Just fold the legs backward like this. Pull him apart. Swing in the arm. Ah, not the arms, the wings. Because that will fold out his arms, as you can see there. And fold down the beast head. And there you actually have cutthroat in robot mode. So that's basically it. There's not much into it. But still a nice figure. And into Sinner Twin. You do the same. Pull him apart. Turn. Ah, uh, you should probably flip up the tail and turn the legs the other way around. So he looks like this. And also the beast arms. Uh, back like this, they're quite tight on this one, and flip down the back. Well, uh, as you probably know, usually you can flip down the head on, uh, on most of these kind of figures, but uh, this one was so fragile that, that he actually broke two places in here uh, where the head should move down, so I just uh, super glued him into a fixed position. So. He'll just do as a leg, so uh, he can't flip the head down to be an arm or something like that. But that's okay. And next up is Blot. Uh, you do the same with him. Fold in the arms, extend the legs, fold the beast legs up to the back, like this, and flip out his robot head if I can't. Get it, it's quite tight. Mm. <laughs> I'll just do something to help me a bit. If I can find something that. Hmm. Well, you know, some of these figures have quite tight limbs and sometimes very loose limbs. If I could just get my hand. And it, yeah, and finally the head comes out and flips forward. And um, take the arms, move back like this, and on the other side like that. And um, that's basically it. And his arms are these kind of stubby little ones. So. That's blood in robot mode. Yeah, he has quite loose legs. I figure. And River Snapper, my favorite. You do the same thing. Flip around the beast legs, up with the tail. Pull up the body. Flip his beast arms around. Flip this up. And there you have him. Uh, uh, well, sometimes this piece won't stay in, so, like this, and flip out his arm. That's River Snapper in robot mode, my favorite of them all. I'll just pause the... The video now because I can see I'm up to 9 minutes and about 30 seconds so uh, to edit this into a two-part I just stop and restart. See you later.